Well, for all the challenges facing Detroit public schools and students there, the district has some hidden gems where students are doing some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's right. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn takes us to one of those schools in tonight's Detroit 2020 report. It's not a typical high school classroom. 600 feet from it. 600 feet from it. Students at Davis Aerospace Technical High School spend part of their school day in a flight simulator and on clear days learn to fly small planes. Jared Jenkins got the bug attending an air show as a child. When I saw the F-16 and uh, Blue Angels and stuff, um, that's what inspired me. Um, and watching Top Gun, I want to be a fighter pilot one day. The curriculum at this Detroit public school allows Jose Rubio to pursue his passion, aviation, at a young age. I'm getting my private pilot's license before I even learn to drive. I mean, I can't even drive yet, and I'm already flying an airplane. You're like, whoa, it just blows your mind away. You can see it in their eyes, and uh, really, in my opinion, that's what education is all about. The passion. Chris Meyer is the flight instructor. A licensed pilot who flew for Delta for 10 years is enjoying his first experience guiding these Detroit students on a path toward becoming licensed pilots. We teach them about weather, we teach them about aerodynamics, we teach them about all the uh, regulations from the uh, Federal Aviation Administration, and it just gives them that extra advantage. Um, for when they go off to college or they go to the military, they have something that the rest of the students don't have when they go there, a, a good fundamental background of, of flying. And I just love the feeling of taking off, being in the air, and pretty much the dynamics and the science of flight and what takes place. This is a wall of fame of sorts, past students signifying their first solo flights. And within a matter of weeks, current students here at Davis Aerospace will experience that as well. In Detroit, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News.